calling me inside because I'm a political science major and I couldn't <laughs> follow the presidential race. Oh so when I got out of this house, I said, I've got to get involved. I want to help Hillary. I've been her stalker for years. <laughs> I think she's an incredible woman. Um, I truly believe in everything that she supports and she stands for. And I did call up Andrew and I'm like, I want to get involved. I don't know if my little stint on reality television can help or hurt her in the campaign, but I want to get involved. And he was delighted to say, come on down to Indianapolis. I know that the primary is on the 6th. And just standing here before you and feeling the energy in this room, you know, it's true that we are making history. And I was speaking with my friend Joe, who made the road trip down here with me yesterday. I'm like, this is why I want to be involved, because I'm going to look back and be so thankful that I didn't just sit by the sidelines, but, you know, I'm in the driver's seat. And, you know, we're, we're all here because we want to make, we want to see change, and we're all here to see a positive difference made. And we're all movers and shakers. And, you know, as Mother's Day approaches, you know, history is always very kind to men in our society. And it's always about our founding fathers, and I think it's an incredible honor to see, you know, Hillary Clinton standing up for the women in this country who have made a difference and who may have been forgotten. And I had the, the honor of uh, doing some phone banking today, and a gentleman answered the phone. Female, you don't think she can do the job? No. Like, well, I don't support Hillary. And I said, well, you know, why is that? You know, he's like, well, I don't think a woman can do the job. And I was taken back by that, and I didn't know if I was going to get in trouble for saying anything. But I said, do you love your mother? Wait, what did you think your first phone call? That was really kind of strange. It was like, I was speaking with someone from Indiana, and he doesn't believe a woman can do the job. And I was kind of not expecting that. That was kind of out of left field. But what's funny is, do you, you love your mother? <laughs> do you love your mother? <laughs> Did she do a great job raising you? <laughs> Apparently. You know that we're all standing here today, standing up for Hillary, and we're not behind her, we're not in front of her. She's the type of president that we're going to be walking side by side with. Mm -hmm. And that's why I believe in Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. And it's an honor to be here with you today. And um, please do, I know you guys have already done so much. You know, if you can donate today to her campaign. You know, Barack's got a ton of money out there, and she needs, you know, the money to continue up her campaign. I'm hoping to continue on to Oregon and possibly Puerto Rico with her campaign as well. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you all for supporting Hillary, and thank you for all of your support, those of you who watch my show. And let's have some, <laughs> let's have some fun tonight at the John Mellencamp concert. Yeah. I think it's going to be a great time. up on the wall. This is a yeah. beautiful thing to see. And you know, I think Hillary, you know, uh, she speaks to the human experience, but I think Hillary truly understands the GLBT community. And I think she's going to be a strong proponent of giving, you know, civil unions and civil marriage nationwide. So I think this is a beautiful thing. And I support you guys and wish you all the best. I think this is a time of such potential and possibility. I don't get up in the morning just thinking about the threats and the dangers, as real as they are. I also think about what we can do and who we are and what we represent. So I take this office with a real sense of joy and responsibility, commitment and collaboration. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to work. Thank you, and God bless you.